In terms of uh, what you see back of me with a plant, we can provide a very uniform quality product delivered consistently. The, the change in technology, I mean, everything here is precise. The consumer benefits, obviously, and the cattle, take a look, happy. We like a, uh, a good, uh, let's say a good gamble. If, if the opportunity arises where we can grow, you should not limit yourself. That's the way we've always operated. One thing leads to another. We started here with 800 cows, then we did the uh, Bird City Dairy, then the heifer yard, and then the plant has been the uh, last deal. Hello, my name is Joe Gillespie. Welcome to McCarty Family Farm's new milk processing facility. This is where we bring the raw product from our farm and into our processing facility for further process. You can see from my hairnet, safety glasses, earplugs, and beard net that we maintain good safety management practices here at McCarty Family Farm. Here, one of the 10 tankers that we receive a day brings milk in through a pipe system and we're stored into the raw storage tanks you saw outside before. This is the raw storage room for McCarty Family Farm's processing facility. When we take the milk in from our three farms in Bird City, Rexford, and Scott City, this is where we place the milk. The milk is brought in in tankers. We bring the milk from the tankers in, through a piping system into our plant. The milk is stored in one of two 50,000 gallon storage tanks. These 50,000 gallon storage silos are equivalent to 400,000 pounds of milk. Once the milk is received into these silos, we store it here until the milk is ready to be processed. This is raw milk, which is basically unpasteurized milk. At the completion of the process, we will have pasteurized it, but this is where the milk product coming from the farms begins. As you can see here in front of me, these are the mix-proof valves that we utilize for our product. Only in this room do we have valves that control the flow of raw milk from our tankers into our storage silos and then from our storage silos out to the pasteurized process. These valves control the flow of milk in, out, and for any sanitation that we do in our process. The next step in our milk process is to separate the milk. We take raw, unpasteurized milk to this unit here. This unit is what's called a separator. The separation takes place by spinning. As the raw milk moves through the separator, it moves into two separate parts skim milk and cream, which is the fat portion. From this point, milk moves up through these two pipelines and goes to the evaporator behind me or to the cream pasteurization unit. Here we've moved to the next step in the process, our cream pasteurization unit. As the cream comes from separation, it goes into this balance tank. This tank is still raw, unpasteurized cream. Now, the next step in our process is to pasteurize it. You can see from these tubes here, we hold the milk above a certain temperature for a certain length of time to maintain that pasteurization process. We record that here with our pasteurization temperature monitoring chart. This maintains the temperature pressure of our pasteurized product. Here we've moved to the next step in our process. As you can see behind me, these three large tanks these are where we send our skim portion of our milk product. Whole milk, cream, and skim. Now in the skim, the process is to evaporate as much of the water as possible. We concentrate it. Each one of these chambers takes a little bit of the water out of our milk. So at the end, we've taken our milk from a skim product to a condensed skim milk. This is where it all ends. We've taken our raw, unpasteurized product, brought it into our processing facility, separated it into cream, condensed skim. After our heat treatment, we bring it to one of these four silos behind me where we cool it back down to 40 degrees. We hold it in one of these four silos until we take the product to our customer. As we reach the end of our tour, we come to our control room. The entire process is controlled through these computer monitors behind me from receiving our raw milk all the way to the finished product that we take to our customers. 
Over the last 18 to 24 hours, our product has come in and been processed through our evaporator to create condensed skim milk and pasteurized cream. Finally, the product that we send out to our customers tested. We want to ensure the food safety as much as possible. We test our product for its components as well as any microbiology that could be in the product. At McCarty Family Farms, we take great pride in creating a quality, wholesome product. We're incredibly optimistic and positive about our future. We love what we do. You know, every day we, we always try to be aggressive and progressive and be innovative um, in terms of efficiency, productivity, uh, animal welfare, uh, employee productivity and welfare. We're always trying to be better than we were the day before.